New Windows RAT evades detection for weeks using corrupted DOS and PE headers. This one was, I thought was kind of like a, a more technical hack that was kind of fun to read. So what happens, so the DOS obviously a disk operating system and the PE is a portable executable, which is part of Windows. So you can create portable executable files inside of Windows. You can pass them around and execute the same thing. The DOS header makes the executable file backward compatible with MS-DOS and allows it to be recognized as a valid executable by the operating system. The PE header contains the metadata and information necessary for Windows to load and execute the program. You put those two things together and you have essentially a what seems to be a valid program that is portable and will absolutely execute on your Windows machine. It's discovered by a FortiGuard or Fortinet, I think FortiGuard is a, is a subsidiary of Fortinet or something like that. They do some, some cybersecurity research, I believe. This thing can run on a compromised machine for several weeks. There's a batch of scripts and PowerShells that run the malware in a Windows process. So in order to determine, there you go, Fortinet, in order to determine how this thing actually worked, they essentially had to isolate it and they had to deconstruct it in several ways. They had to take a memory dump of it because they couldn't have, they, they couldn't get access to some of the original, like the actual code, because it kind of self deletes itself in some cases and isolate it and put it into like a, a memory dump on an actual compromised machine. And from there, they had to go and read the decrypted header files in order to figure out how it ran. In order to do this, they had to try this multiple times because the, the, um, the, the way that it runs is that you can't consistently recreate the exact same memory locations on every run. So it's difficult to pinpoint a consistent pattern in some of the memory locations. I presume due to the way that the Windows uh, portable execution thing works. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it has something to do with virtual memory. I'm not entirely sure. But they, but they, they had to isolate it in a lab, so to speak, and figure out how it works. So they figured it out. There's a control and command center. It goes back to the server, rushpapers.com, and uh, it stays in inside of the window system for as long as possible and sends all of the information, whatever. So again, be careful out there. It's dangerous, all right?